everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got another scrapbooking video. I literally have now made this into like a series. I do not know what number this is. I think I've probably done about five videos now of scrapbooking. So many people really like these videos so I will keep making them if people want me to. If you enjoy scrapbooking videos then give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you are new. Comment if you scrapbook. Also tag me on Instagram if you ever like do scrapbooking. I think one or two girls have like tagged me in their scrapbooking and it's so cool to see. I feel like internally I'm like a 60 year old woman who loves like scrapbooking. I normally use these black ones and I will leave everything that I use down below and link it. I've linked my scrapbooks and like my label um, maker in the description. But this lady um, actually got in contact with me on Instagram was like I always watch your scrapbooking videos can I gift you a scrapbook that I make and I looked at her Instagram account and they were amazing I was like yes you can give me one of these they look insane and they're so personalized I've never seen anything like it they're just so unique to every person what you put on the front cover is very personalized so you would send her maybe a list of things that you might like on the front cover like a place you've been a holiday you've been on something your favorite chocolate bar or your favorite drink or something like that um, or even like a picture of like you and she will be able to like draw it on so I just sent a load of like I felt so bad I was just like anything to do with this would be fine I was like just kind of do what you want um I kind of trust that you can do something really cool with that you didn't show me what it looked like and then obviously when I saw it in the post I saw it for the first time and it is honestly insane this is the scrapbook how insane is that like it's a very big scrapbook as well i was expecting it to be a lot lot smaller but it came massive when this one's finished i'm definitely buying another one i think just to keep for yourself or even as a gift this is like the perfect gift idea the fact is they're not even that expensive to buy i think they're probably about 20 pounds and obviously if you get a smaller one it's probably a bit cheaper to buy but that is so good for the amount of work and effort that has gone into this scrapbook it came like wrapped so cutely she put some harry bows in there for me she gives like a little personalized message just this tiny little personalised message in there and say Katie I hope you love your new scrapbook and have a lot of fun filling it in it was so lovely to chat to you and I genuinely I genuinely loved making this your Insta is so aesthetic PS you are such a talented baker keep safe Leah yeah she is honestly the nicest person I've ever met sometimes we just have like little chit chats now like swiping up to each other's stories like she is so so nice she honestly seems like the most genuine nice person ever and also I'm really jealous of her handwriting her handwriting is just so nice this is like one of my favourite things I've been gifted because it's so personal to me me. I've put my YouTube name at the top and then she actually got this picture off of my Instagram so it's when me and my friend went to I can never say it. I think it's like Matra shoe or something but me and my friend went there and it had like a flower wall in the background so she's put that on the front as like the centerpiece and then all around it she put all different stuff so I said obviously YouTube so she's put a YouTube thing there I said like flowers and holidays so she's done like I just literally said maybe something to do with holidays and then she's turned that into like a little like world with plain like a little cocktail on there polaroid camera i said my 19th birthday was in lockdown which is obviously something to remember so she actually got this picture off of my instagram again little youtube camera this was the cocktail that i had when me and my sister went to duo in london so that's that exact cocktail i do a lot of zara hauls obviously i've got bella on there and she looks really cute and i love like chocolate starbucks i mean this just proves that I started the Starbucks trend. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But me and my sister got them Starbucks cups that everyone's got now months ago when we went to London. I even said to put it on here before they were a thing. Obviously, I really like to bake as well. I don't really do any baking on my YouTube channel really, but I do have a baking Instagram account, but it's more just kind of a place to put my baking pictures. But I've got a little like baking section with my, it's got my Instagram underneath. This was when obviously me and my sister go to London a lot. So I said maybe something to do with London. So she's drawn like a little telephone box, but she does so much extra detail at like all of the white details. She's put all stuck, all multicolored gems on. And I just think this is the most, the nicest thing ever. And I will keep this for the rest of my life like it is so so nice definitely check her out on instagram i will leave her ads and everything below and put it on the screen but it's cool she's cool 
she's called Leah but her Instagram is crafted design at crafted design and honestly I couldn't recommend her enough all of my pictures this time are actually from La La Lab so normally I get them from like free prints or La La Lab again I will leave my discount code up on screen and down below for some prints from La La Lab so I got these ones which are like a Polaroid style print which is really good if you don't have a Polaroid camera and then you can put little writing underneath these are square pictures with white borders because I like to have the white borders the normal kind of prints as well with white borders and I also got some more of these strips these are honestly the nicest thing from La La Lab I love them they are slightly pricey but I feel like they make a scrapbook look really nice so I've just got some more of them as well I also picked up some bits from Home Bargains because they have like the most affordable scrapbook and stuff ever these are stickers that I've got with letters on them but they're in the shapes of like hearts they're really cute so I got these rose gold ones and then I also got some in gold as well because I just couldn't decide what colour to get. I've also got some of these letters. I feel like these will look good on the black background. I've just got white kind of glitter on them. Little rose gold Polaroid like frames. I don't know what pictures these are going to fit just yet. So I don't know if I made a mistake getting these or not. But I got them in rose gold and there's some plain and stripy ones. Also got this little bunting which I thought was really cute. So like for my birthday page maybe I'll put like a little bunting at the top or something. And again it's got like stripes, polka dots and some ribbon in there. Okay so when I said I had a lot of pictures. This is just some of them that I have got. Like I have hundreds of pictures that I printed. So the next page is actually my birthday which is very very exciting so i had my 19th birthday in lockdown which you can go and watch i actually vlogged it this was actually the cake that i made it was like a rose gold themed cake this was my birthday table so it was all rose gold themed fireworks because it was like november time also i don't know if you can see but i'm watching suits i am on season 7 episode 14 so i've watched quite a lot, a lot of that quite quickly <laughs> it's probably quite embarrassing how quick i've actually watched that but yeah i'm gonna start scrapbooking my birthday day finished the first page this is my birthday page this is so cute like this little bunting i love this polaroid picture i've just put lockdown birthday on there and yeah this is the page i used my new letters and put b-day because it was too long <laughs> to write birthday it would like have gone over here next i have got we put up the christmas tree and this is when i went to blue water this was the inside of blue water and it was like empty so i took some pictures because in like 50 years time you will never see a um, shopping centre that empty so yeah that was around Christmas time so I'm going to do that and then this was the day we put the Christmas tree up and this was Bella and we bought her these little leg warmers from B&M they're like little Christmas ones and they are adorable the day that me and my mum went to Primark at 4am I vlogged it and um, if you want to check that out but yeah this was me at 4am in Primark probably the only time I will ever do that. It was definitely an experience and the queue was humongous. Got some random bits and bobs. So this face mask is the weirdest face mask I've ever used. This is Wagamama's, the first time I've had it. And then I put the Christmas Eve boxes under the Christmas tree.
finish these pages so I just put blue water and the date that this was so yeah crazy how empty that is I've then done this one look how cute she is in this and this was the very this was the first of December which is so crazy to think of like Christmas right now and I just used my new letters and put Xmas decks but honestly these letters are actually probably one of my favorites I really like how they're like all different shapes and I've done this page so I put Primark at the bottom I think these letters are not my favorite they take up quite a lot of space for like a short word um so I don't think I would get them again which is kind of sad crazy the amount of cues that there was 4am shopping as I said I vlogged this as well but yeah that was that page and then now I'm starting the next page when I did my O Poly try on haul so I took some pictures and I just printed them and again like these Polaroid kind of style pictures this was actually the day I had to have a Covid test this was me <laughs> I don't look the best but that was me taking my Covid test I'm going to do that as well again something you will never forget and it's something I want to put in the scrapbooks so that's why I'm showing you it and then after that I'm really excited to do this page it's when me my sister and my mum all went to an afternoon tea i've got so many pictures for this page i also got one of the photo strips as well i am on the next episode of suits this page i actually really like these little flowers on this page so yeah i've done that bella is trying to get out <laughs> i have done my covid testing page then i finished the igloo page i really like this page though there were a few gaps which is a bit annoying hot chocolate that was like the best hot chocolate but i was so full i feel like i couldn't fully enjoy it but the igloos me and my sister the date we went this was honestly such a good um like afternoon tea now i'm going to start the next page so this was actually when my sister my mum, and i went to a driving cinema so it was this one here i would actually highly recommend it it was really good it's just me in the car eating popcorn and i'm gonna put this into a page also just gonna do the next page as well which is when me and my friend libby you probably have seen her in the videos before and in the scrapbook videos went to a christmas wonderland in lakeside and it was actually really good considering it was just like a small one in lakeside Oi. This is noisy. It was actually really pretty. Got hot chocolate again. This was me making a mess. <laughs> and then this is just me and Libby when we were going ice skating. It's actually that exact moment when we was at um, the Winter Wonderland that we got told that we was moving into tier four and that this whole place was going to be shut from tomorrow onwards. We were literally there the last day this was ever open, which was really, really strange. And we found out that we were going into tier four. So this was obviously before the lockdown over Christmas as well. But yeah, this was the last day that this winter wonderland was actually ever open a while just laying it out just this is just how i kind of do it so i lay it out where i want it and then now i'm gonna stick it all i'm just gonna use good old prit stick and i'm gonna stick it all down and then i'll add everything after so there's a little bit of a gap here so i'll probably add like wonderland or something like that in that gap but yeah i'm kind of liking this layout i quite like this page might be my favorite so far
says they didn't film this page but it was very very plain but it's just like a walk iced coffee and cupcakes that i baked but yeah that was pretty much that and now i'm going to start the last page that i'm going to do today because it's the last page of 2020 and then we're going to the new year so i'll start that in like another video but it is christmas so i have got so many it might even have to go over two pages got like bella how cute is that on the presents matching slippers that i got my sister and my mum for our christmas eve boxes they're so comfy we've got our christmas dinner i've just put the date on it and yeah that was the morning and the table my nan came around because she's in our bubble so yeah that was all of us at the table a very quiet christmas in comparison to normal Christmas day so I think I went a little bit crazy with the diamantes don't really know what happened there photo strip breakfast obviously scrambled egg and salmon like the classics is matching pajamas presents and xmas day obviously in lockdown and then i did a whole second page so christmas was over two pages i put xmas in like the new letters that i got this little bunting and then i just drew with white pen in between just that it was a bit easier to stick down got my christmas dinner and yeah this is it. I think I'm just going to leave this video here. If you enjoyed the scrapbooking video, then please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you're new. Comment if you want some more as well. Don't forget to tag me in any of your scrapbooking. Love to see all of your scrapbooking pictures. Don't forget to follow me on social media. And also check out Crafted Design on Instagram. Her stuff is amazing. But yeah, I think that is the end of this video. And I will see you in my next video or my next scrapbooking video. Bye.